Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the man, the myth, the legend, the indie filmmaker himself, Neil Breen. Yes, I'm finally getting to his video, and no one's asked me to do this video, but I've seen a lot of people do videos about him a long time ago, and I'm finally getting to the videos. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get to that. Guys, welcome back to Jerry's Result. My name is Jerry. You can tell by that pops up in that corner in every single video. And before we get into the video, I want to tell you that next Monday, not the Monday after next Monday, like I would normally do with my videos, but next Monday, this coming Monday after this Monday, I am going to be releasing an update for the film. Not to mention, this Wednesday, I'm going to be releasing a short little teaser for the film, The Demon of Crow's Creek. And there was that one teaser with the conspiracy board, but this one I'm going to fix to be releasing this Wednesday is going to be one with actual footage. So you'll, you guys will get to see some footage. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So, Neil Breen. I can't seem to wrap my head around this one. I, I, I don't know, I just can't seem to figure out Neil Breen. I mean, I gotta say that the man is pure brainius, which I can't say that I coined the term. I got that term from Your Movie Sucks on YouTube, and yeah, that's that's where I got it from. I cannot take any type of credit for that term, so yeah, don't, don't give me credit for that, or say that I stole it because I am giving the name to the rightful owner. Brainius came from Your Movie Sucks, which is where I got it from. So Neil Breen, well, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he was like a real estate agent or a contractor before he was a filmmaker, an indie filmmaker, and now he is a an indie filmmaker. Um, he's made five theatrical films. They have played in theaters, by the way, and truthfully, that is pretty cool that these are his first films, and they're getting to play in theaters, and these are independent films, and it's like, why can't I do that? I mean, I could, but I don't know. I don't have the money for that, I guess. But yeah, he got to have them play in theaters. I believe that the fifth one, Twisted Pear, had played in Paris, if I'm not mistaken. And so, yeah, that, that is pretty cool. I gotta say, I, I admire the guy. He's, he's pretty cool. Now, other than these five independent films that he's made, he also has a five film retrospective, which he claims is not a documentary, which I've never seen it, so I don't know. But... I assume it's a documentary if it's about these five films and it's a retrospective, so yeah, it has to be like a documentary or something. But you know, I've never seen it, so I don't know. If any of you guys have seen it, then tell me about it. I'm not going to pay all that money for a five hour film. Tell me what it's about if it really is a documentary. I really do want to know. I genuinely am interested on what this is. I haven't actually seen it. I have seen zero footage from it. I've seen the trailer for it, but I have seen zero footage for it. So, yes, please, like I said for like the millionth time already, please let me know down in the comments what it is if you have seen it and if it's any good. Now, Neil Breen had actually started back in 2005, I believe that's when it was, 2006 or something like that, with this film Double Down. And I gotta say that that's a pretty cool title, Double Down, until you realize that barely anything happens. And it's like, what am I watching? And then there's, you know, a lot of exposition in this film, which a lot of exposition isn't exactly a good thing. I gotta tell you that. My film that I'm working on, I gotta tell you right now, there's not a lot of exposition in it. In fact, there's flashback scenes, which we had filmed this past summer, and I'm showing you guys the flashback scenes, not telling you about them. That's the thing is, he says he's a visionary filmmaker, but if he was a visionary filmmaker, wouldn't he be, like, showing you guys things instead of telling you guys things? Which then again, I gotta say that even though Double Down has a lot of exposition, it isn't bad at all. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, pretty funny, I gotta say. And then there's this part here. What do you have for me this time? 
cryptography, hacking into a banking system, shutting down a power grid for a major city, cutting off the water system for half the country, hacking into the stock market, closing down a bank, fixing an election. It's all easy. Network centric warfare. Yeah, yeah, I know, Neil, that you, you can do all this stuff. You don't have to flex on me that you know all this computer stuff, you know. But, you know, it's whatever. He wrote it, you know. And then, of course, it's intertwined with a bunch of stock footage that he probably bought. I don't see him actually going out and filming that stuff, but you know what? It's okay. Stock footage isn't illegal in the film, so you know what? It's totally cool. Even a lot of bigger theatrical films probably use you know, stock footage. I gotta say that his films have a lot of exposition, and especially this one here. And he says he can do all this stuff, but it's like, we don't even see it happen. So, yeah, I gotta say that Neil cut out the exposition and show us you can do all this stuff. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip over to Fateful Findings, because this one, this one is an absolute gem. Okay? This one is great. In fact, I actually love this one. This is my favorite film by Neil, okay? I have seen this one, and I have seen Twisted Pear, okay? And, well, I gotta say that Fateful Findings is probably my favorite one out of all of his films because, like, it's just, it's pure gold. I mean, watch this Academy Award-winning acting right here. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. I can't believe you've done this. Here, Neil, you forgot your medal here. Something I've noticed a lot in his films is that he really likes to moan. Ah! Ah. Like, I, I'm like sure that in the editing room, whenever he's editing, he's probably like getting off to it. Oh. And that's... Now I decide I want to see. Oh crap, really? And of course he showed us his ass and the back of his balls. And if you ask Neil what his films mean, well, all you'll get is it means what you want it to mean. Wait, so if I want it to mean that there's a psychopathic, self-proclaimed indie filmmaker going out into the desert and filming himself walking across a bunch of decapitated baby heads, then that I want it to mean that? Then great, I'm invested in this. And don't think I'm bashing on Neil because, like I said in the beginning, I admire the guy. In fact, this is... I love his work, okay? I have a picture of him over there on my computer screen. He's just watching me. And he's talking about pass-through. And I gotta say, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> and one more thing I gotta say about Neil is he's really gotta rub it in your face that these are legitimately theatrical feature length films. Legitimate feature film, legitimate feature films. It's a legitimate mainstream full length feature film. Feature film. And I'm repeating myself. From the beginning, I do know that these films have been, you know, put in theaters, so they are theatrical. They have ran through theaters, which is pretty cool because a lot of these films, I think, like, the first two were, like, out-of-pocket films, and then the last three were, like, crowdfunding, I believe. Like, I think that's what it was. I don't remember, but I do know that he's, he's put a lot of money, a lot of his personal money into these films, and like I said, I admire him for this. I'm, I'm not bashing on him at all. I, I admire him. This is pretty cool, what he's doing. A lot of his films kind of lack aesthetic, but that doesn't make him appealing because his films are one of a kind, I gotta say. He's like the new Tommy Wiseau. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! He's the Tommy Wiseau of the new age. Well, I gotta say, right now, I am currently waiting for his next film. I don't know when that's going to be or what it is, but I am waiting for his next film. I believe he puts all that stuff out on Twitter, and I don't have Twitter, so, well, not anymore at least. So I guess I gotta get on Twitter and figure out what he's doing. So yeah, basically what this video was is, 
I just can't wrap my head around Neil Breen. He's quite confusing, but I gotta say that, you know what, that's okay. Because, you know what, his films are great. If you guys haven't watched them, then I, I do recommend that you give them a watch. They do get boring at some parts, but there's a lot of the parts that some would find boring that are pretty hilarious. Like, you know, I just, they're, ugh, they're weird. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And so, like I said, next week on Monday, I'm going to be doing a an update on the film, on my film, The Demon of Coast Creek. I'm going to be doing an update. And this coming Wednesday, there is going to be a teaser release with actual footage. I've got sound design in it. And yeah, so stay tuned for both those videos. And so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe for new content like this. Every other Monday right now, I'm still kind of on break, but I'm just wanting to get this video out here. So I will see you guys in the next video.